some people, uh, when they uh, decide to go full-time RVing, they, one of the big dilemmas is what kind of cookware uh, should I bring. Um, when we were at home, uh, like I've mentioned in some of the other videos, I, I like to cook. I always have. Uh, and when we were at home, I, I had bought this really nice uh, set of emerald cookware, which, which is made by Allclad. And, of course, I had to sell it because it's just way too big and way too heavy to bring along. So, uh, of course, I sold it. And then uh, I had done some research and... Uh, online about you know what other people were using and then I came across this stuff here it's, it's called magma and I believe it was originally uh, made for people that are have the great big boats you know that go sailing you know on the ocean and are gone for who knows how long but the reason I like it is you know I could have went to Walmart or someplace like that and bought a really cheap set of um, camping cookware, you know, that all, that stacks all together and saves space. But when I saw this, I, I loved it. And I was actually using this at home before we left on our trip. Um, but it's stainless steel. And, uh, they're, you know, they're not, they're not cheap stuff. I think I got this off of eBay for around $169 for the set. And I got it from a place called Spinnaker Gems, and I think they're down in uh, California. But anyway, it comes, it comes like this, and then uh, it has a spongy cord. So when you're traveling down the road, um, it all sticks together. And then this, you know, just stretches over here, and then you know, it reattaches on itself. But uh, it stacks all together and it fits perfectly underneath my uh, stove area. I have a little cabinet down there. But this is the the uh, skillet that it comes with, and then it also comes with these these handles, and they have this little button here. So what you do is this little red button there is you just pull it back towards yourself. And then this little thing right there, the handle just slides right onto that. You push that handle forward and it locks it, locks it in place. And uh, they work really great, you know. And I, you know, I, said, I, I like it. I can still cook with them just like I would if, if we were home. Of course, it's got the one lid that you use for your skillet. Or your big pot here, you can use for making spaghetti and chili, whatever. Um, and then I bought, you can buy these off of uh, the Magma website. They, they have all kinds of stuff. They have uh, really nice stainless steel barbecues, gas and charcoal. Um, I, I kind of wanted the charcoal one, but it's kind of expensive. and. Uh, we're trying to kind of keep our costs down low, but uh, and it comes with one one lid for these three pots. And it has these three different sized pots that uh, this particular set that I bought came with. And then you can see on the lid how it has these these different set of rings here. Well, that's so each, the, the lid will fit each pot. So you'll fit on that one. And it fits on the middle one. And on the big one. And it's just because of how they built it with those three indentations right there. And like I said, everything is stainless steel. Um, and then these are the same way handle just slips right onto there. Just like that. And uh, 
And I do believe these might have had the copper in there, in between the bottom and the, that area there, because they do the heat up really well and really quick. Um, but I just love how they all stack that together. That died on me. I had to change it. Um, anyway, I love love these and. Uh, the lid, you know, like I said, it, it fits on all three of those. This lid fits on the skillet and on this bigger pot, uh, pot here. And I believe when the battery died on me, uh, I was going to show you guys why I bought these little gadgets here. You can, can buy these. Well, not these exact ones. These I got off of eBay. These are just called range range clean um, and um, off the magma website you can buy the magma brand of these they're a little bit more money than what these were but um, the reason I bought these is because when you're traveling down the road you know how it you know it's really can get really bumpy in here sometimes with find stuff, you know, that's blown off on the floor or whatever. But because of these little things here where your handles attach, I was afraid that with them being in there and not having this protection with the rattling around in there, it would eventually dig a hole in the side of my pans in there. And, uh, I really like them, and they're kind of, you know, they were about 160 some dollars, I think, for the set. So you want to protect your investment, you know, you don't want to ruin them. Um, so these just uh, fit in there like this. And, uh, and then, of course, then the smaller one goes in. And then, and putting, putting them back, you know, putting them, putting, putting them away, the lid that fits on all those, you put it in upside down, the lid for your skillet, and the big pot goes on top like that, and that goes on top like so, and then your uh, bungee cord goes across, and then what I like to do to hold it is I pull it real tight because I have had it fly off and snap me and it hurts <laughs> but what I do is I run it through that way and then I'll run it over there that way and then it stays and then I just keep keep the handles in uh, my drawer with my spatulas and my uh, you know all my cooking stuff that I use so but, uh, yeah, if you're trying to figure out what you might want to use for your, uh, in your RV, you know, uh, for when you're out and about doing this kind of lifestyle, I would, uh, definitely check these out. It's just, uh, I believe it's just Magma. They're called Magma USA, but I think if you just typed in Magma, uh, on a Google search or something like that, uh, it would come up for you. And uh, you could check out all the all the really neat stuff they have so uh, anyway I hope this has been helpful for you give you some ideas on uh, what kind of cook set that you might like to uh, look into buying and uh, we'll see you next time